tough one to lose. Um, we've had a lot of extra inning games this year and come out on the other side of that. And uh, I know these guys thought that they were going to come out uh, on the on the right side of that one. Um, it was a hard fought game. You know, playoff baseball, you you come up with a big spot, and I give them credit um, for making pitches in the big spot. Um, and hey, Josh Randall just did a heck of a job. Gave us a, a heck of an opportunity to win the pitching. Uh, you know, Romero to turn it over to Thurman. Uh, Schreier got a big out there. Um, and then Shapira, um, he hung tight there for us to give us a chance. And then, and then Vaughn Moderator coming in and, and still giving us a chance to win. Um, can't say enough about Jacob Christian's big home run. Seen it plenty of times this year. Um, you know, big spots, big moments. Uh, it's been huge for us. And I'll tell you right now that these guys won't quit. They won't give up, and they're going to be ready to come back tomorrow and play. And uh, we'll have you guys raise your hands. And also, like you, who has questions for Coach of the Blairs? Yes, sir. Uh, Coach Hunger, Eric Sorensen, D1 Baseball. Uh, yeah, it's to just kind of expand a little bit on that. Uh, talk about your team's toughness and grit in there. Uh, how they've done over the course of this season coming back from a loss, especially a tough loss, obviously not as tough as this, but just how they've done this season. Sure, you know, sure. Um, you know, day in and day out, these guys are never out of the fight, you know, and it's, it's uh, whether it's on the mound, um, whether it's at the plate, you know, they rely on one another, and I think that's what great teams do, is uh, they don't feel like they have to get the big hit or make the big pitch in the big spot, right? And I think that's a huge team effort, the reason why we're where we're at today. Um, it just didn't work out that way for us on the results side. Um, but they, they believe in each other. Uh, they love one another. And I think that when you have that as a team and that grit, it, it, you know, it kind of elevates your level of play, if you will. Yeah, I mean, before the at-bat, Coach Hungers gave me the scouting report. Um, we needed three hard. So, I mean, like he said, I wasn't trying to do too much. I was just trying to get the next guy up. Honestly, I was just trying to put a good swing on, on the first fastball in the zone and uh, not miss it. So um, I think it was 1-0 and it kind of gave me that pitch and I just you know, I didn't miss it. So that, that was kind of my plan. You know, I wasn't trying to get the big hit, but you know, things work out when you, know, you just stick to your approach and your plan. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I think for me, uh, playing these guys for a couple years at my previous school, um, wanted to attack them with fastballs. <clears throat> I did a pretty good job of that, and then, um, you know, not trying to do too much. It doesn't take just one guy, let my defense work behind me. Um, and I think, too, full circle, 10,000 foot view perspective on it, I, I've been in a situation where I've been a regional, haven't been on the roster. I've been the freshman that came in for mop up duty. So, um, really just enjoying where we're at right now. Uh, Coach Hungers talks a lot about gratitude. So, I think what it comes down to is, is being grateful for the moment you're given, not making too much of it, and um, just really having fun playing baseball at the end of the day. What was the best pitch for you? Probably the fastball. I think I did a really good job of mixing it in and out, up and down. Um, seemed to give us some trouble early on, and then um, the change up off that was working really good too. So um, I'd say I executed my game plan the way I wanted to, and you know, sometimes losses happen, but we have a golden opportunity tomorrow to bounce right back. Yes. What do you tell the guys and how do you change things in the face of elimination? Uh, yeah, not change anything. You know, uh, sticking with our, our approach on the on the pitching side. Uh, the, I think the first message is you never know when your name or number is going to get called. Uh, my experience being in regionals in the past, I've seen guys that haven't pitched in months come in and, and throw five six innings and give you a chance to win. That's what it's going to take. Um, been in the losers bracket, won a regional before, not as a head coach, uh, but I've seen that. And it, it takes you know the whole army, if you will, um, to come together. Um, but there's no flinch in these guys, I'll tell you that. You know, and they're going to give it their all, um, just like they did today for 11 innings. And um, I can't wait to see what the response is like tomorrow. Sure. All right, Josh, this is for you. Uh, you own. No pitch, five innings, 79 uh, pitches. And you know you guys are going to be around here for a little while. Do you think you're going to be good, good to go again if this number is called? Yeah, I can pitch right now if you need me to. <laughs> I figured that was coming. Coach, what is the mentality? I mean, this is not a strength marathon that you want to reach So what's the mentality going into tomorrow? Uh, knowing that, you know, you, you, 
suspended one of your lawsuits, and now you try to move forward again. Yeah, I, I think results aside, you just gotta we gotta keep playing San Diego baseball, and, and that's what we've done this this whole year. And um, you know, it's, it's for lack of better words for you all, I, we get you're gonna get punched in the mouth. How are you gonna respond? You know, and and um, and these guys know that, and our our player led group is unreal. Best I've ever been around. Best I've ever seen. Um, you know, so so when that message is sent, you know, it's like you're gonna see them kind of act upon that if you. Um, but it's a lot of preparation, a lot of hard work, you know, and it, it's really focusing on what they do day in and day out. Um, and, and there's no better group than these guys, and they work at it. Um, and then they have the right mindset as well. And, and it takes a mindset to play this game, I'll tell you. Uh, it could be the greatest game on earth, and it could be the cruelest game on earth. Uh, these guys know that, but it's about their will, their fight, and their grit. And with the San Diego across the chest, these guys are going to do that, I'll tell you that.